All right, guys. Wondering Weasel and Wondering Weasel Wife back here today in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park off of Sugarlands Trail up out of Gatlinburg. Guys, we are way up in the mountain in the woods. And I'm a happy camper. Uh, we found what they call the old stone house way back up here, about halfway up on the mountain. Um, off the old Sugarlands Trail. Yeah, you got to go to a little bushwhacking to get to it. It's about four miles up. Yeah, guys. I would not recommend doing this in the summertime. Nope. You will not find it. The trail, literally, even it's a at, footpath. in the wintertime, it's a footpath. And at places, it looks like there is no trail. You have to watch. You have to watch what, what you're, you're doing and where you're going to follow it because people have had to reroute it because of trees and brush and stuff. It had uh, part of this area right here has been burnt from the fires in 2016. You also have a couple of pretty decent creek crossings. Yeah, you got to go across pretty deep cre uh, creek crossings up here uh, to get up in this area. Because, like I said, there, there technically is no real main high control to this. It's just been people that's made footpaths up here to it. So, guys, if you ever do this, make sure you're early in the day. Make sure you have flashlights on you in a backpack. And water. Water on you. The water up here in the mountain you can drink. It is mountain water. It's not a problem if you want to bring a canteen. Uh, I'm not worried about it because, you know, it's coming down through the woods on all the rocks and the logs, so it should be safe. But due to anything that anybody would say, I would recommend filtering. Yeah, well, she's a little more picky than I am. But, guys, uh, like I said, I would highly recommend you come here. Gorgeous hike. A gorgeous hike. It's really nice. Like I said, it's four miles up, four and a half miles, something like that. Uh, the old stone house is actually bigger than I thought, and there's a whole lot of things left over from that time frame in it. It looks like Hansel and Gretel house. Yeah. It's so cool. Uh, guys, we are about halfway up in the National Park above Gatlinburg, going toward the chimney tops, but on the opposite side of the road of the National Park. So guys, we're going to go over here and show you the stone house. This is what we're here for today. Come on. As you can see, the old stone house, it is actually quite large. I do not know how in the world they even accessed this back in the day. I guess horseback is the only thing I can figure out. Because the terrain on both, on all four sides of it is rough. It is huge though. Whew. I got you off close to the thing. Part of the house has kind of fell in over the years, as you can see. Down here, got an old bed frame uh, and a headboard and things. Uh, we will go all the way in. Uh, coming in to the side right here, which was the kitchen area, you can see where the old chimney come out of the wall. Uh, the old stove, the cook stove, which is still there. One of the old pots or pans are still there actually which is kind of crazy to me it's rusted plum out uh, an old fuel can and old oil cans guys i don't know for sure if there used to be an old road that vehicles have actually gotten to this i don't know that for sure uh there's a lot of old bed frame pieces though just a wild thing to find here in That's the so Guys, be very cautious when you come into this old stone house right here. Yeah. I just noticed this. I will go under it because, you know, it's, it's me. Uh, the wall is very unstable. Somebody has put this steel th uh, railing under it to support it. You guys, we're going to go through and go down into the other side. You could see the old remnants and pieces and parts and stuff inside. The, right there would have been the main entrance into the main part of the house. Uh, there has been, a, I guess that would have been a bedroom area. You can see the old windows and such, the old, and some more bedding rails, uh, old cans and things. I'm not real sure what that is right there laying. 
Uh, there is another old cook stove thing right here at this other fireplace, an old shovel, and that is the old chimney. Look how big that thing is. Big chimney. Big, nice chimney. Guys, like I said, I probably wouldn't recommend doing this in the summertime. This would probably be very snaky. Uh, even in the wintertime in February, I have all my trusted snake boots. This is what we hike in uh, up here in the National Park and such. That's what we hike in everywhere and so, uh, year round. I just highly recommend a good, sturdy, tall boot to be in the, in the woods. I mean, some people are more comfortable than not in tennis shoes, flip flops, sandals, but not me. Not for this kind of thing. They're, just be real cautious though if you come up here and inside of this thing because the walls are very unstable. I see cracks and lineage of the walls. Just have to be cautious. Be aware of your surroundings. Wondering where's the wife. She was a woman on a mission to get up here to this thing. I couldn't keep up with her. And I am getting the heck out of here because even though it's February, I see a yellow jacket flying. I'm allergic to them. I ain't going to be near that and get stung and us four miles up here in the middle of the nowhere in the woods. Because I can't get out of here. So guys, this is the stone house. Uh... Wonder what your wife does have some info on it. Okay, so on census in 1932, the stone house did not exist. But by the census in 1942, it did exist. However, no one knows who built it or exactly why. What they do know is that local residents did not build their homes out of stone. But people with connections to the CCC camp did. So it's assumed someone with ties to the CCC camp constructed it. For what reason, no one seems to know, or exactly even when. Maybe a camp house or something up in here to they stay? Really know. It's approximately a mile from the CCC camp, so they're not sure if maybe it was like an administrator's house, perhaps. Hmm. Or just someone with the CCC camp on a mission. But that's all I can find. So guys, there's your little history lesson on the stone house here off the old Sugarlands Trail. I've just had a fascination with this place for years. Uh, she's always talked about it, wanted to come here, and we just never had the time nor the ability to get here. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely different, and it's, it's wild. Like I said, I don't know how exactly they even got up here to it because there is no road. Yeah. I'm assuming horseback riding. Like, how would you bring the stove in? Horseback. In, uh, I mean... Uh, sled behind horses, old sled road. It's the only thing you could do. Guys, let's walk around the back side of this thing a minute. If I can get over through the brush and everything. There's glass everywhere up here around this thing. Old glass bottles and jars and things has been busted. I wanted to bring you around the back side to where that chimney was. And right there is the chimney to the old stone house. Guys, this thing is actually big. And like I said, it's it's huge. It, and that's the little chimney that was for the little kitchen area. But apparently they must have cooked on both sides of it. Oh, God. Ow. That hurt. I just about fell and had a limb slap me in the head. If you can see this crack right here that's separated from the wall... Uh, be really cautious. I don't know that it would fall, but it might. Just be c cautious of your surroundings and stuff because of the those kind of things. And also the fact of, you know, yarn bear and coyote territory. Uh, we saw some turkeys earlier. Um, you are in no cell service area. Cell phones do not work up here in the National Park. Be aware of that. Uh, this is some of the area that burnt in 2016 around. Uh, as you can notice back up on the mountain, uh, the cliffs and everything up in there. It's 
beautiful area though. It's a really beautiful hike. It's an off beaten path exploration to go exploring. I really enjoy doing this kind of thing. It does make me a little bit tired. Wears me out a little bit, but it is pretty cool. Guys, let's go find the Wonder Wheel's wife, see where she went to. It's kind of brushy up in here too, so that's what I'm saying. Even in, in summertime, it would be grown up. You'd have to be really, really cautious if you come up here. All right, guys. This will conclude the stone house off the old Sugarlands Trail up in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. If you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so so far. Uh, ring the notification bell to keep them notifications rolling, guys. And if you're new here, we do upload two videos a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 a.m. they go live. I apologize for the squint and I've got the sun in my eyes. Uh, guys, we'll keep on shooting them. Y'all keep watching them. And this is the Wonder Weasel signing off from the old stone house up on the old Sugarlands Trail above the CCC camp.